we're ready to make the cannons fire and this is just going to be pretty much exactly the same as we've done with the other objects that fire bullets I have a sprite over here sprite boss bullet and it is 12 by 12 with an origin that is centered and it's just a little green ball and I have created an object from that object boss bullet with the sprite in it visible I'm going to give it a depth of negative 10 that way it appears above the object cannon which is at a depth of negative 5 and I'm also going to give it a parent I'm going to give it the parent of our object bullet now the object bullet when it is created just goes straight to the left and off the screen with these bullets however we want them to actually find the position of the player and then shoot towards the player wherever it is on screen you might be thinking then if we make this a child of the object bullet it's going to inherit that movement and just go straight to the left. So why would we do this? Well, really all we're doing is getting the outside room destroy itself function. We can override the object bullets create event though that determines its direction. And we can do that by coming to add event create and we're going to give it a special move action over here in the move tab. It is this move towards and the X that we want it to move towards is the obj underscore player dot x the y is obj underscore player dot y and we'll give it a speed of 10. Now even though the parent object bullet already has a create event the child here is overriding it by having its own create event. If we didn't put this in it would inherit the same create event from the object bullet which just sends it to the left by giving it its own individual create event though we're able to give it a different action but it will still inherit the event of being outside the room and destroying itself because we're not going to duplicate that event here so we can close this now and we're going to reopen the object cannon the firing mechanism is going to be pretty similar to what we've already done but slightly different so let's go to control and set variable and drag it above this set angle comment. And the variable is going to be is underscore firing. And instead of false this time, we're going to start out with it saying true, which means that it will not be able to fire. And the reason we're doing that is because the boss object is going to take a little bit of time to get on screen. We don't want the cannons to be able to shoot at the player from off screen. We want the player to be able to see where these shots are coming from. So in order to give ourselves just a little bit of time, we're going to set the is firing to true so it doesn't fire. And then we'll set the alarm from here. So let's go to main 2 and set alarm. Drag that underneath and I don't want the cannons all firing at the same time I want it kind of staggered kind of random so in the number of steps I'm going to put in choose open parentheses 60 comma 75 comma 90 close parentheses and so this will give us the time we need for everything to get on screen spin around just a little bit fraction of a second before it starts firing at the player so click OK and now we can set up our alarm zero. So at event, alarm, alarm zero. And we'll come to control, set variable, is underscore firing, set that back to false. OK. And then we'll set up the firing mechanism in the step event, just like always. First, we'll test for a variable. Test and see if is firing is equal to false. Bring in some blocks. Set variable is firing to true come to the main one tab and create instance we want to create this object boss bullet at the origin point set to relative of our cannon and then we need to reset our alarm again so come back to main 2 set alarm and we're going to set this to choose parentheses 30 comma 45 comma 60 close parentheses so again we're giving it a random reset so that the firing is staggered and just isn't a huge barrage of bullets coming towards the player click OK and we can close the object cannon and it should work so let's run it 
comes on screen and it begins firing and they fire towards the player if I move the player cannons start shooting towards it okay so that's the first part of the boss the second part is being able to shoot and destroy the cannons which will then destroy the boss itself so we'll set that up in the next video